What is up hackers, Crypto Max, aka Zoid right here and in this lesson I'm going to be showing you how to set up Axiom in your very own VPS, um, also known as a virtual private server uh, in DigitalOcean and I'm going to be showing you how we can set up DigitalOcean. We're going to go step by step. First of all, we need to set up DigitalOcean. Um, and we can do this, um, we usually have to pay for it, but you can get a $300 from Twitch on um, Naham Sex channel. So go to his channel there, this will be in the description. And you just go to his about page, and you'll have this get $100 in credit from DigitalOcean. So click on that, and you pretty much just sign in with Gmail, and away you go. Pretty much that simple. Uh, and once you sign in with... Um, Google, you'll be presented with a, a screen where it says, I do you want to create a droplet, or you have to create a droplet. Um, okay, I'm going to first show you the problems I had. So, I chose the 20.04 LTS X64 uh, Ubuntu, and I had problems. So, make sure you change that to 18.04 um, X64, um, and then you should be fine. Uh, make sure you just select basic. Uh, I choose to um, pay $40 a month, but you can choose whatever you want. That's after the $100 is expired. Uh, choose a data center. I chose San Francisco. Um, also choose, um, if you want to, you can have a VPC, which is a, uh, you have a, a pro, um, this, you have a private IP, which is by def you can choose default. Um, and then you can either choose uh, no, uh, you don't have to choose SSH keys, but um, I usually just generate one, so I go new SSH key, and I just follow these instructions. So I went into my WSL box, I generated a key, um, and made sure I saved it, and then I just copied the public key into here, and then it should be all good. I've been having trouble with the SSH functionality on uh, DigitalOcean, so maybe you can help me out on that one. Choose the host name to whatever you want. It could be called your handle. It could be called whatever hack box or whatever. Uh, and then all you need to do is just create your upload. And you should be presented with a screen like this. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to access the console. Uh, first of all, you may may ask for root password. So if you can't remember the root password, just go to access, reset the root password um, if you can't access the terminal and just um, you know, type in the password that you're given through the email and then just reset it through there. Um, I'm going to then, okay, so I've already got some um, stuff going on, but you should be presented with a screen like this. I'll just get out of uh, the Haddix box. Should be like this uh, once you type in your password. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to basically um, get Axiom. So go to the website Axiom on GitHub, made by Pry0CC. Um, and there's one line you can use, um, but I'm going to first show you the problems I bumped into when doing this. Okay, so first of all, we need to run this command here to update the, uh, the kernel and to install kill. So you just copy and paste that in, like so. And that should be done. Uh, another thing we need to do is... Um, we need to install, um, we need to run this command here. Uh, but I had problems because I, I figured that Packer was not installed properly. Um, and F said F was installed, Docker wasn't installed. These weren't installing. But um, I think the problem I ran into was I pretty much just, um, I needed to install uh Notify, I think it's called Notify, um, what is it, let's have a look at it, I think it's Notify, I might have it in my history, Notify, send, so I need to do install Notify, send, and it all worked pretty much fine, so in order to do that, there is a, there is there an apt get command you can type in, which is pretty much, uh, this one right here, you run that, and that should store, um, notif uh, Notify, send, um, or notif lib notify bin. And then what you do is you just run that one line of code, um, which is this one here. So you run that, that uh, one liner there in your VPS, and you should be given this screen here. Uh, and then what you need to do is just, just press enter to install it. Uh, it's going to install all the required packages. Also, we need to, un we need to install unzip. Uh, don't forget that. Don't forget to store unzip. Um, which is basically um, just by typing in, I'll just do it in a uh, notepad++. We need to install um, 
app to get we need to install unzip so we can just type in this here and that should install unzip because we need that to actually uh, extract some files um, then once that's done we need to get the DigitalOcean um, API key now I'm not going to show you what my API key so I'm just going to show you where you go to you go to the API right section right there uh, and you generate a, an API and then paste it into here and once you've done that that should be all set up you just press enter and it should install everything and then it's a matter of just going axiom init and it should create a new um, droplet and I can show you how you do that it's gonna create a new droplet called boy uh, 610 uh, boy d10 it's gonna create one there um, and then you should be able to uh, log into it but I'm just going to uh, clean that up because I don't want to create a new one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in axiom LS and that's gonna show me all my boxes I can connect to um, I'm going to go Axiom Connect. Uh, I'm going to connect to uh, Hadix 15. So Hadix 15. Uh, and that's going to connect me to... Um, I, just, I need to go Connect, sorry. I need to go Axiom Connect. Um, connect. And that should connect me to my Axiom box. Um, so let's just do that. I might actually just quickly um, uninstall this one. I just installed... Uh, we, well, actually, I can't. It's still installing. Um, but what I need to do is I need to um, specify a box to connect to. So the one I want to connect to is, um, let's go Axiom SSH, and it will be Hadix 15. I think that's the SSH command, I think it is. Let's have a look. Um, hopefully, it just connects me to the Hadix 15 box. Um, if not, I can just pretty much wait until this one's done and then um, log into it. Um, which might be an easier process to do um, but it tells you all the commands you can type in here anyway so this is a really good command here that will use subfinder to iterate through or iterate through all the subdomains through different uh, sources and use ZDNS um, a to get the IP addresses and using some JSON magic it will uh, probe them and, and like resolve them and then use Aquatone, Aquatone to um, to like uh, screenshot all the IPs um, Let's try and figure out how we can um, how we can connect to the Axiom box. Um, here you go. So we need to go Axiom SSH instance. So I was right. Except it's probably just doing things, and that's why it's not working. So let's just exit out of this. Uh, let's log in again. I need to get my password to log in with my password. Okay. Let's Axiom LS. It gets a little bit slow at times, so just remember it will be a little bit slow. Um, let's Axiom SSH into um, Haddix 15. Uh, just see how it's going. It might be still. Ah, uh, okay, it's slowed down, so I'll just delete it and it should work and fine. So I might just delete, destroy this one. Um, cause that's causing some problems. Um, okay, cool. So now I should be able to just connect and it should connect to my Jason, uh, sorry, my Haddix one. So that'd be good. Alrighty, connect. Um, may need a restart. So let's just reboot our box. It has been running for quite a while. So let's just reboot the box. Um, and then we'll connect to it. But what, what I'm saying is once you connect to the droplet that you created through the Axiom init, you should have all the tools uh, in there. So you should have all the tools uh, that are listed in Axiom, which is all down here. These are all the tools that you'll be able to use. So it, there's no need to actually run these on a local system. You can have all these in your Axiom box. Um, it's really, really good, very useful. Um, and the good thing about it is, um, you know, if you're, if you're like working, say you're at work, um, and you need to um, have a scan going for bug bounties, um, and you know, like you don't want to, you don't want your computer to be uh, shut down so that all the scans stop. You could have all these tools run in a VPS, um, and that, that means, and then they won't be shut down. So it means they won't stop. They will just continuously go, um, and they'll work. Um, don't know why the Haddix box isn't working. Let's actually axiom SH into the IP. Um, into 
0.206. Maybe this will work if I SSH with the IP. No, it's still not working. This is really strange because this actually should work. Let's have a look at the um, the command list. Okay, this will tell us how to do it. So the instance, uh, um, we could we could just pretty much just uh, um, just create a new instance, but we won't worry about that. Um, let's see if it's doing it now. Hmm, strange, but uh, it should work. Um, so it ls quickly. I just want to show you what's in the box, that's all. I just want to show you, um, uh, is it connect and then the, uh, is it, no, actually it's SSH and then the instance. So SSH and it would be Haddix 15. I'm pretty sure that's what I need to do, but it's not working. I have no idea. It's going really slow. Um, I have no idea. Maybe I just need to restart the box, um, which I thought I already did, but it, maybe I didn't, um. Or maybe it's just going to... Do you know what? I might just create a new droplet, stuff it. I might just create a new droplet in it. And I might just let that go. So, Kenny... Ken, Kenny... Or Ken, Kennedy 14. Nice. Uh, so, I'll create that new droplet. Um, and... It should all work. Um, another thing to look at is to have a look at... Um, you know, Stokes' video on how to... Um, uh, set it up to... Um, he makes a really good video on. I know. Sorry, that's really loud. Losing our, you know, um, Axiom, which is right. This one right here. I would highly it's recommend Axiom Axiom you actually look at his video. It makes He's sense. awesome. On multiple machines. Step. Shows you some really good recon scripts too. He showed you this recon uh, video where he sets up uh, 15 droplets uh, and just basically mass scans all the IPs and the whole lot. Um. If you haven't checked out my video on how to um, mass scan and find out the CIDR of a particular domain or IP, uh, check it out because this will be useful for your VPS um, for when you're actually uh, scanning at, at scale. This one here, have a look at this. It's a really good video. I'll show you how to use different tools to actually scan whole IPs, whole, whole IP range um, using like, you know, uh, pretty cool. So figuring out the CIDR of a domain and then uh, scanning the whole subnet. Um, pretty much pretty cool. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's really cool. Let's see if it's actually created the box now. It's still going. Uh, it should be done pretty soon. Um, shouldn't take that long. Let's have a look where it's up to. It's done. Okay, it's done. Okay, cool. So let's just, uh, you know, here we go. So let me type in my my SSH password and go Axiom Connect. Um, and that should connect to my new v my new droplet. Awesome. And if it's not work, yeah, okay, it's asking for the public key again, the password for the public key. Perfect, and that's what it looks like when you log in. Um, and, you know, you're given like, a, you know, all these tools that so we can subfinder, dash D, and then, you know, the domain name, so just say example.com, silent, and we can just basically do what we'd usually do. We'd use all the tools uh, and find all domains. It's pretty much, pretty much we've got all the tools for recon in here. So, you know, I hope you liked this video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe, comment if you need any help, and don't forget to turn on that notification button. And I will see you in future videos. Catch you later, bros.